Capiche? Can everybody say capiche? Capiche. No, capiche. Capiche. No, capiche. Capiche. No, like you have to do like capiche. Capiche. Shh. 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 Capiche. Coolio, JJ, can you explain the parable to us? Why don't you explain it? Why don't you explain it? Why don't you explain it? Okay, I'm gonna tell then you explain it. <laughs> okay, I'll explain it. You tell it. Capiche. Capiche. So, in this parable, Jesus says that there was once a tax collector and a Pharisee in the temple. The temple was the church back in the day. So the, the, the tax collector and the, the, the Pharisee were praying in the church. And the Pharisee was praying and he was looking up and he was like, Thank you God that I am not an evildoer that I don't rob people and I am not as sinful as that tax collector. So he was like, thank you God, I'm not like that tax collector and I am better than him. So, and the tax collector, tax, 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 the tax, tax, the tax, tax, the tax collector just looked down. He didn't even look up when he was paying. He looked down and he was like, God, please forgive me for all of my evil doings. I am a sinful person and have mercy, have mercy on me. Amen. And Jesus says, when the Pharisee and the tax collector left the temple, that tax collector was good with God. That tax collector was good with God and that Pharisee was in trouble. I just, I just think, it's, I think that God heard the text of it was because it was sincere but the Pharisee was just like I'm better than everyone the, the Pharisee was cocky yeah and he was not humble yeah he wasn't humble that's the word tax collector was very sincere yeah. he, he was regretful of all his sins and he asked for forgiveness and the tax collector on the other side not so humble no he was humble no, Pharisee. the Pharisee, the Pharisee, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. was not so humble. So, JD, what do you think the story is about? I remember at the end of the story, um, it says, those who humble themselves will be lifted up, and those who, who, um, those who lift themselves up will be humble. So, basically, we need to be humble so that God can, because we are all sinners, no one's perfect. It's only because of God that we can be Christians and be here where we are. Amen, baby. But we can't do it in our own strength. Yes. Yeah. So, the Pharisee, let's not get him wrong. He was, he was a Christian and he did all the things. Like he paid his, his tithes, he paid his... It says he paid his tithes and he fasted twice a week and... Yeah. yeah. But then, he was not humble. He was bragging about his own accomplishments. His own not accomplishments. About so he did not respect the other people. He looked down on other people and thought that he was better than everyone. What are some things that you're better than others? Sometimes I think I'm better than other people. That's not good, right? Because I think my hat is cooler than yours. This is my hat. This is my new hairstyle. Okay, <laughs> my, my one is cooler than yours. Okay, but then yeah, sometimes even I, Paya, I can be not humble. I can be very, very, very unhumble. Is that, is that a word? Unhumble. Prideful. I can be very prideful. Prideful. And JD, how do we not be prideful? By humbling ourselves before God, by telling God, I'm only human, I'm not perfect. Only you can take me where I need to be God. I can't take myself. Wow. So we should lower ourselves in front of God and not be too proud of our our accomplishments. Exactly. Just think of it. Like we are not saved because of works. We are saved because of grace. Oh. Amen, JD. <laughs> so this basically means we should not brag. Yeah. So. We should not be nasty to yeah. other kids. Yeah. We should not be 
bullies because basically that Pharisee was bullying the tax collector. It was, it was so mean. Because he said, I am better than you, I don't sin like you, I follow the Bible. But he's actually not better. Yeah, so we should just respect one another and always stay humble. If you're not humble, what does it say? Jesus will humble you. you. And if you, if you are humble, Jesus will, will lift you up. And so just one thing to close, it says, to some who were confident of their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else, Jesus said, for all those who exalt themselves will be humble, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. What does exalted mean, Jane? Lifted up to a high place. It's like, for example, I think you did a parable like this once. Say um, you have a feast, right? Like a, uh, 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 you have a dinner and you invite all your friends. But someone that's not your best friend comes and sits next to you and your best friend sits at the end. You will call your best friend to come sit next to you and send that other person to the back. Oh, so she always... But your best friend was humble, that's why it could be lifted up. Oh, amen! Guys, please go into cell and amen. remember today's amen. message. It's about being humble and not it's looking amazing. down on anyone we should respect everyone around us even those that don't deserve it but we should always be Everyone merciful because jesus was merciful to us Amen. hallelujah okay. so guys go to yourself and have a bomb yeah